previously on Bell Collective. I will announce at the brunch to see who will be interested to bring Ferris Street back to what it used to be. Speaking <laughs> of the brunch, I don't know how you feel about dry ass waffles <laughs> and little bitty drumsticks. I had this unit made. Mm -hmm. I went to Goddess Lent. This hair is garbage. Honey, clearly you didn't go to the right store. Before. No, ma'am. I went to your store. No. And if you're selling this type of product, this is some bullshit. Antoinette, it's time to go. Let's go. I'm not surprised Latrice stormed out because that's what poodles do. Poodles bark. They want to be heard and they want to be seen. Bye-bye. My PR. She runs the ins and out operations of my business. We work hand in hand and it kind of flows. She signs it on the dotted line like she gets the job done. I was calling you because you know the new hair care line that I was telling you about. We need to launch that. I started Goddess Lance Virgin Hair from the trunk of my car. I'm literally meeting in the parking lot and I will have a line wrapped around the building with people coming like we're at McDonald's getting hair. So I mean, why wouldn't I expand on it? Why wouldn't I make a business out of it? And I'm happy that we're at the launching process for my hair care line. And I can't wait for America to be able to experience what I've produced. I'm excited. Hey, Fatty. Hey, baby. What you got going on? No, I'm just talking to Mel on the phone. Hey, Mel. Hey. You looking beautiful today. Not much. <laughs> girl, let me call you back. Let me talk to him real quick. Okay, then. All right. Okay, girl. All right. Bye bye. Let me get some water before. I go. And I be telling everybody they beautiful. Does bother you? No, it doesn't bother well, me. Well, then ain't a no problem. They beautiful. I'm just complimenting. All right, whatever. Anyways, me and Mel, we was on the phone just, you know, discussing the next steps in expanding the hair care. I think it's gonna do good. Yeah. So, I know you was telling me that you wanted to invest in it. Yes. You know, you, you didn't say anything you, else about I it. I told you I got your back on that thing. I'm your husband. Okay, so you're gonna invest. We're gonna make this work. You know you got to listen to me. Every time I tell you something, we argue and you don't want to listen to me. I want you to sit here and talk to me like I'm your equal. You are my equal. I, I want to feel equal. When I first started Goddess Lens, my husband was not supportive at all. Like, he didn't believe in a vision. He didn't see the vision. Like, that hurt me a lot. So, investing in my business, like, I have my reservations. Even though he's my husband, I still want to depend on me. So, I need that credit. I did it on my own. This is my baby. No one can take credit for what I built. You do the marketing. I'm going to run the way here. <laughs> Okay. You got a problem with it. So this is what we not going to do, babe. Yeah, but I asked you, you got a problem with it? Yes or no? Listen, you know, I have my own way of how I do things. OK, then fine. I'll just be an investor. All right, well, just give me the checkbook, and we can roll with it. to meet Leticia, and we're gonna talk about this brunch that I could not host. I hope everything went great. I really do. Okay, so where do I start? Tara, I don't even wanna tell you. What? Cause it's crazy, I don't even wanna talk about it. Okay. The women's empowerment brunch, how crazy could it be? So I hear some noise while I'm doing my affirmations. Clearly, you didn't go to the right store. No, ma'am. I went to your store. No. And if you're selling this type of product, this is some bull. Over some hair. Girl. And then Latrice was like, this is my hair. This is my hair. That is my hair. You get hair. Girl. Your hair. <laughs> so I'm get like, out of here. Probably, girl, Marie was like, I'm rich. I'll buy all your hair. <laughs> I'll buy all your hair. <laughs> 
have women here who are looking up to us, and y'all up in here acting like y'all grandmas didn't raise y'all. Sorry, baby. Girl. I'm sorry. I Why gotta does have... this happen when I'm not there? Did you announce Ferris Street? Girl, I didn't even get a chance, Tamara. Girl, are you they serious? Left. I mean, I'm so upset, I am, that I did not get a chance to make my announcement at the brunch with something so important as Ferris Street. We need to show other entrepreneurs that we can work together, those who are looking up to us, and they need to put this petty mess to the side. So what was the good part of the brunch? Yeah, my affirmation <laughs> to myself. Are you serious? <laughs> At least give me the update of the status of Barry. What's going on with that? I have um, two meetings scheduled. Okay, okay. I have one scheduled with a lady named Dorothy Davis. Okay. She's like the bridge between um, the community okay. and everything that's going on with Ferris. Okay. Right? Okay. So gotcha. I've had, yeah, I cannot wait, Tamara. I'm so excited about this yeah. meeting. I, I can... hate you didn't get to announce it because that I... was like your baby. That well, was you the big everything announcement. manifests how and when it should. That's true. It's gonna be good. Think positive energy and yes. think of positive energy. Yes. You know my birthday dinner is coming up. I did invite all of the ladies. So do I need to be concerned? I can't say what these ladies gonna do. I'm being honest because I Girl. didn't think they were gonna act like that at the brunch, so I can't say that they're not gonna act up at your birthday party. Okay, so yeah, that brings me, like, I'm really concerned. What I am hearing is disturbing. I don't expect any drama at my birthday, but I wouldn't expect any drama at the brunch either. <laughs> but what I will say, friend, is that I will try my best if I see anything or if I hear anything, to try to, you know, keep everything cool so it won't ruin your party. That's Let's a eat. Lot. Let's eat some food, honey. Yeah. <laughs> I need some sugar. Hey, girl, what's going on? Girl, come on in, have a seat. Let me move this out the way. Girl, how you been? What's been going on? Girl, I've been good. You know, these grandkids got me busy. Jerez is off to college, and these babies, you know, they have me extremely busy all over the place, you know, but... Ugh, I wouldn't trade them for anything in the world. I am financially taking care of my four children, Jerez's three children, and his baby mamas. These babies are a blessing. They didn't ask to come here. Although they are his responsibility, they are a part of me. And sometimes I want to say, no, I'm not going to do anything for these babies. You need to call your baby daddy. But when they ask, I break down and I give in. You didn't call me last night and tell me about this brunch. Girl, Latrice, Antoinette, and their entourage called themselves checking me, getting out on me, because I asked Latrice to validate if the hair I purchased was yeah. indeed her hair. Girl, she went left. When I tell you she attacked my image, told me I looked like mess, that the hair I was wearing was not her hair. I didn't come in her store to purchase the hair. I was lying about it. She said that to you, she the customer. She said it to me. Yeah, me as wow. the customer. Yeah. I'm a customer, you know? I'm not talking to her as a businesswoman. I'm talking to her as a customer. Number one rule, you know, you don't ever call a customer a lie. A customer can make or break you, you know, and I will break her. I have something for her. I just got an invite to Tamara Cherie's birthday party, and you know Latrice and Antoinette will be there. So get ready. Uh-oh. You're going. I'm going to get her all the way together. She would never insult me or the next one. Wow, I cannot don't believe don't they carry on like unless that. Unless I call for you. I didn't call for her. Well, she won't call for you no more. Exactly. Coming up, I was a missus to a man, and now I'm a, like, I'm a nobody. Am I a nobody? <laughs> oh, I know this is hard for you. You can't be sitting here looking like you the villain, that you just a macho when you started all this stuff and you don't want to have a conversation. Hear what she got to say. Pull the chair on the tree. It's about to go down. While we're here, I wanted you to see Dennis' brother's shoe shop. Oh. They've been here ever since the 30s. Hey, Mr. Dennis. Hi. Hey, love. 
<laughs> These are not fly-by-night businesses. Right. I wanted the tour because I needed someone who could really give me the ins and outs of Ferris Street, not only what's going on now, but what happened back then. So Dorothy is the perfect person to talk to. I've been told that you're the person that I need to talk to. I lost my, my grandfather in April. OK. He was a significant person in my life, and he talked about this area. Anybody that was ever on Ferris Street talks about Ferris Street. Yes, he was saying how it was just like the hub for African Americans, and how he said Negroes would be all on the street, up and down, celebrate, having a good time, That's just right. getting what they need from this area. And, and so it's personal. My grandfather once talked to me about Ferris Street. He used to say all the time that I remind him so much of his sister, who actually owned a business on Ferris Street. I lost him just a few months ago. If he was here, and I know he's looking down on me, he would be so proud. This is Peach's restaurant. Peaches. And have you ever heard of a man named Barack Obama? Yes. He the... ate right here in Peach's restaurant. Are you serious? When he was Senator Obama. Oh, but wow. B.B. King ate in here. Wow. Uh, a lot of people oh, ate wow. in here. You'd it's be surprised. Mm-hmm. So, Ms. Dorothy, tell me about this here, the palace. This is the, the one that was, I'm interested in. The palace was where Duke Ellington and people like that performed. They had dances. They had, like, ballroom dances, wow. not just any dance. Beautiful. I'm very in interested up. in this place right here. What make you want to get that building? I feel like it's a great place to start. I like the upstairs, the downstairs. Resource Center can be on the top for entrepreneurs. But that is a place that's worth saving. All this is history, the black history. After the brunch, I'm really hoping that these ladies can put their differences to the side. We come together as the women that we are and really, really come in to be a part of a street that is so legendary. With everything that's going on now, with black women rising to power, Black Lives Matter, revitalizing that strip means a lot to me. But what is your plan for Ferris Street? I'm going to share my vision of Ferris Street and buying the block back, and we're going to revitalize this area, where black girls can walk down the street and say, wow, she did it, she's doing it, so they're I can doing do it. it, and I can do That's it. That's right. I want you down here. You do, Miss Dorothy. I would love oh, for you to be down here. Give me a hug. That's support. To hear that from you, you a big dog. I appreciate. <laughs> That's not a block bad girl. That's right. Yes, Miss Dorothy. It's ours. <laughs> it's ours. <laughs> hey, Susie. Hey, Oh, good. What's going on? After work drink. Ah. After work drink. Well, listen. <laughs> I brought you something. Oh, yeah? I brought you some shampoo, Can conditioner, edge control. Yeah, it's just samples now. Okay. And so I get the real products in. Okay. So we're going through the stage pretty much now. <gasps> uh, this packaging. Girl, Are you kidding me? Yes. That's my celebrity box, honey. Oh, my goodness. Not so I'm here at my girl Antoinette's house, and she wants me to look at her new refined crib. So I had to come bearing the greatest housewarming gift. So I brought her some products for my new hair care line, Essential. You know, I know she loved these things. But listen, what did you think about that brunch? Mm. Girl. Marie! Oh, my god. Listen, girl. She's delusional. <laughs> you cannot win. I worked too hard to build my company from scratch for you to come and try to yep. tarnish my brand like yep. this. And you know, I don't argue with people. Not really. Like, really. I let my money speak for me. Successful black women can get along. Like, we're all grown. We're all adults. We're all arrived, you know? But I think there's something to say about emotional maturity. It doesn't have to be like a bad situation. It doesn't have to be cattiness. We can all win. There's plenty of food at the table. I have not seen a house since he left. <laughs> it looks amazing thus far. I can't oh, wait yeah? to see it. Oh, yeah? yeah? You like what you see, baby? Yes, I love it. It's you. It's not the rustic look. It's not a man's house. I wanted to make sure that, like, nothing of his was still in here. The divorce, it was fast. It was concise. We got it done. So it was really important for me to redecorate and rededicate this space to, like, reclaim this new life of mine. And so as I was like purging the house, I found old baseballs, I found bats, 
I found helmets and I just didn't really quite know what to do with it all. So I just put it in a little box. Oh my God. Antoinette. What is that? Look at this. Do you remember this? I remember it like it was yesterday, girl. People would look at you guys and they would never know what you were going through. Um, no, but I'm just like deeply private. I forgot about this. We get the box and we find these pictures of Antoinette when she was in the magazine and it's so beautiful because, you know, we all thought they were the perfect couple. And I hate that it brings back old emotions, but you know, let's just explore these feelings together. Like, I'm here for you. Yeah, we were a power couple of sorts, but also, um, I mean, we just had stuff, we just had junk. Like, was it something specifically that you like? Girl, no. So it was the work thing, it was the baby thing. So, <laughs> with my ex, I think that one of the biggest pillars and the differences in which kind of perhaps drove us apart was the whole thing of children. And I just had some really deep concerns. Because I am the woman, I would be responsible for having the children, but I also have a career, and it was really important to me to keep my name and for me to be Dr. Lyles. But I would have to stop working for a good amount of time, like, to have babies, and they would have to come, like, back to back. Um, and I wasn't willing to do that then. I will have kids, but right now, I want to make a world where it's good for them. I want my child to be born under the right circumstances such that they don't know struggle. He's really cute. He's really smart. He was a great husband. He's a great man. I've envisioned what my life is like without him now, and I think that it could be better. I just want you to be happy, and yeah. if... <laughs> Coming up... Can we revisit the million dollar and get the million dollar baby? An NBA player offered me a million dollars to have a baby. I'm not gonna have sex with this man and have a baby for a million dollars. So you like this. Tell me what you actually like I about like it. I like it. Why? It's like grown and sexy. And then, you know, all these shoulders. Yes, honey, I'm, I'm loving this. Okay. I've known Ken for a while now. And Ken is a stylist. And he's worked with the station. We've worked with fashion shows together. So I'm bringing Ken to shop for my birthday. OK, so you said, like, we have two different parties. We do. <laughs> OK, so you, you, you snuck that on in there. Like, we got two know, different parties. Because literally, of course, you know, my family, we do something, like, really, really private. And then this is, like, it's intimate, though. But it's still, like, the girls. Super intimate. Okay. Yeah, it's still intimate. OK, it's, so what's, what's, what's going on with family? You know, my family, they definitely want me to settle down, want me to get married and all of that and have babies. The real question is, honey, are you, are, are you ready to have kids? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Well, you That's know, the real question. Well, I do believe okay. I want kids. Yeah. I would probably say not at this very moment, but mm -hmm. I'm actually feeling the pressure of it. Mm -hmm. Of course my parents want me to have a family. They want me to have what they've had. But I've just been waiting because I did want to be married and I did want to have, you know, my career first. What like, you gonna do about the pressure? That's the, the, the I, I know, question right? number two. I don't know if I ever told you. Did I tell you I actually froze my ex? Did I tell you that? No, you didn't tell me that. Oh, no, I never told that you that. You kept that all to yourself. Oh, so you never So you gotta that. walk me through what happens so you can just unfreeze them and have a baby when you get ready. Yeah. So what's the hold up? <laughs> Honey, what is the hold up? They just in a place stored. Yes, like they <laughs> You gotta really miss stored. I actually made the personal decision to freeze my eggs. I've dealt with fibroids before. I've had surgeries before. And I say, you know what? I just want to freeze my eggs just in case. And if you are wondering, I am 40. I'm telling that's, you, honey. Yeah. I, and then keep in mind, like, if I wanted a baby, I could have had a baby a long time ago, a million that's, dollar baby. That's, that's real. At that. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, okay. you remember, honey. A okay, million <laughs> dollar baby. Can we revisit no, the million dollar and get the no. million dollar baby? No, like, I am, no. An NBA player offered me a million dollars to have a baby. I just couldn't do it. We were not in a relationship. He just didn't have kids. I didn't have kids. He thought I came from a really great family. But I wasn't going to do that and just, you know, all of my morals and values going out the door for a million dollars. I can make my own million, okay? My heart is fluttering. Are you so serious? Yeah, so how do you feel knowing that you could have had a million dollar baby I and you don't? I actually feel fine because I was in a relationship. I was happy in that relationship. I'm not gonna have sex 
to this man and have a baby for a million dollars. So is he coming yeah. to the party? No, Ken. Did he still leave you? Baby, no. That is the past. We are Girl, I'm trying to make it the present. Forward. I want it to be the present. You <laughs> know what I'm bad. saying? Let's try the clothes on. <laughs> I'm here at the baseball field to get rid of the last box of stuff. I'm waiting on my friend Kaylon to come. This is probably something where I need the support of my friends. So my ex-husband was really into baseball, so these things represent him and our relationship. Maybe I'll knock him out of the park. Antoinette, where are we at? I thought we were going to a yoga class. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be hot work, so I got uh, some hydration. Oh, gosh. Let's pop some champagne. Yes. Um, Latrice was over, uh -huh. and um, I just kind of went through and, like, showed her the things that I discovered, like, when I was getting rid of things, and, like, this is the last of it. They remind me of a life I used to have. He is a good guy. Is but he... at some point, I just felt like it just wasn't working more than anything. Was there something horrible that happened, sad that happened? And I'm sorry if I'm getting too deep on no, this. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Um, it's just that I wasn't ready to have children. And your big holdup was you had to open up your practice. We had to be more settled, but also, like, um, my had concerns about raising biracial children in Mississippi. Why? Wow. Because people treated me differently because I wasn't the same shade as them. And in raising biracial children, Mississippi would have made them pick if they were more black or if they were more white. And that's not fair to the kids. I have not experienced more racism than when I lived in this state. It's just not shocking sometimes because it is still the South. I just really wish that they'd allow people to be people and, you know, that, that skin color thing not to be the thing that separates us. How do you feel now, though? Like, I'm a little heartbroken still, perhaps. I know you. I know you're holding back. Let's take it to the field. Come on. I'm going to get you out of your shell. Come on. Ah! I like my shell. I like my bubble. I met my ex in school. I also met Kayline in school. And so she was there for, like, the courtship of our relationship. Like, she gets to witness the end of it all. All right. all right, lay it on me thick. I'm going to ask you about this one, because I feel like this is coming from your your wall, not your heart, but it says it's so over. Is it really over? It's over. It's over. It's it will over. never, ever be rekindled? I don't think so. This is not your wall talking. This is you talking. I think we're done, baby. You think? It's over. You have to be ready to hit it. Are you ready? I'm not ready, but I'm ready. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. <sighs> Kaylon, he was everything to me. Like, I'm so disoriented. Like, I have no clue what I'm supposed to be doing. I was a missus to a man, and now I'm a, like, I'm a nobody. Am I a nobody? If I have to do it by myself, I absolutely can do it. I just really enjoyed being married. <laughs> oh, I know this is hard for you. Why don't we do this? Why don't I throw the ball, and when you hit it, you and I run together? Yeah. yeah. Can you do that? Yeah. I'm so tired of crying about this. Where are hands at? I'm enough. I am enough. <laughs> We're going to fly in the home. Ready? <laughs> oh. I totally smashed it. And I smashed those memories as well. How empowering is it that you realize that you have a sister in the struggle? <laughs> Best girl's night ever! <laughs> Coming up. Oh, my God. Will you be willing to sit down to just have a conversation with her to say we're both bosses? This is not a boss. Here you go, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Today is the Midday Divas birthday party, Tambra Cherie. So we're partying over here at the Old Capital Inn. You have like the DJ playing, you have a bartender here, you know, good music. The energy is good. Yeah. How you doing? I am so disappointed that the brunch ended like that, but my goal is to bring them together to squash all of that and invest in Ferris Street with me. Trees pull up, I pull up, Cliff pulls up. We are fine. We're a little late. It doesn't matter. Late never ugly. That's what we say. So me and Zaddy walks in, and we're looking like J and B. I mean, when we walk on the scene, <laughs> that's who we be. Hey, Latrice. Well, we it's so, so good to finally meet you. Oh, How's it going? Oh, I don't want to get any makeup on you. That knows me knows that when you see me, you see Zaddy. He wants to know where I am at any given moment. And if he's not included, he's not happy. This is Zaddy. That's Zaddy. This is Zaddy, right? You good? You good? You good? Okay. I'm, better. I'm better, better than good. Ooh, okay, Zaddy. Don't let him start. Okay. <laughs> I look over, I see Latrice, I see Antoinette, and Latrice's husband. So at this moment, I'm like, oh my God, Latrice shows up with her whole entourage. And I'm so glad we like all together. Oh. We haven't seen each other since the brunch. Oh, girl. So I was like, I was excited to see y'all and Tambra. Mm -hmm. Like, it's so pretty out here. It like, is. it's so it's Tambra cool. Cherie. She brunch, she yeah, she had a prior obligation, so yeah. she couldn't come. Yeah, yeah. I was so hurt because y'all know Tambra can carry the brunch. Who was the host to uh to that that brunch? Me. Oh, you hosted? Yes. Did you teach? I didn't know that you hosted your brunch. Was that the first time you did that? Yeah. Uh. Yep. That was my okay. first time because normally I'm behind the scenes. Well, speaking of behind the scenes, yeah. honey, because we had that little situation there, and I just really didn't respect the way Marie came at me. I came there for women empowerment, mm -hmm. and she wanted to talk about hair, honey. Like I said, customer service is open Monday through Friday, ten to five. Uh -huh. You should have got it together then. Mm -hmm. Like, if that was your highest level of professionalism, then, honey, I have no conversation for you. My brand is my bread and butter. I've birthed my brand. I've made it to where I am number one. No one can come for my brand. If you come for my brand, I'm coming for you. Uh, we have never heard of her. No, yeah. they just get their money, stack their bag, and go on and take trips and fly all over the world. They're not, mm -hmm. like, socialites. What Marie do? Marie is a multimillionaire who owns a home health agency and some mental, mental health. professional when she's yeah. at brunch. However you want to call it, but right. what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to let you sit here and attack Marie. Oh, I did not. No, no. Okay. I, that was a follow-up question. Okay. That's what we're that's not, not going to do. <laughs> because that's her friend. That's my friend. Friends do what friends do. I, I respect yeah, yeah. that. That's, that's okay. what we're not going to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's ladies. Bad. It's that's enough fair. heckling here and going around this table. Let's do what we do. Hey. Turn the music up, DJ. My outfit is the bomb. It fits my curves, and you know, it's very, very sexy. How y'all doing? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Turn around, baby. Turn around, friend. Turn around. Um, that's the Marie lady. Where? Right there with the all black on. Oh, that one you beef with. So, Marie Bo Peep walks in, you know, with her little finger waves and her hair, whatever, gel to the side. At this point, we have nothing for each other. Like, you keep your situation over there, and I'll stay my fabulous life over here. Oh, well, Mel. That's her baby. Oh, that's her. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sure she's a sweet girl. I respect you for trying. We're not going to sit at the round table with Latrice. I'm sorry. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to entertain. You know, I'm sitting at the table, so I brought the brunch up. The brunch? Yeah. What's your name? Will you be willing to sit down to just have a conversation with her to say, you know what? We're both bosses. We're both, uh, you know, a part of this women empowerment brunch. Uh, that's not, she's, she's not a boss. Let's just be clear. You don't think she's a boss? No. And what happened when I went to her the first time as a customer? 
I don't know what happened. Yeah. We hadn't had a conversation. I know it may not be a good time to bring it up at Tamara's party, but definitely these girls need to sit down and get their acts together and really figure out what it is that they need to do to move forward because we have bigger fish to fry. Oh, mm -hmm. We classy we we over you here. I need a drink. Coming up. At the end of the day, we represent Jackson, Mississippi's Woo! final. That's okay. I'm so sorry about that. That's okay. I'm talking about your hair not being pulled out of the way. Oh, baby! Yeah. What we gonna do? Uh, I don't like shit chat. No, I'm spitting big facts. We wreck the riffraff. Boy, you need a tic-tac. Now, this a mishap. Drama? Now, I do believe every VIP needs a VIP arrival. I love my security. They take care of me. I mean, I am arriving with a motorcade, but that's how we move around the city on big nights. And tonight is a big night for me. Oh my goodness, whose birthday is it? I love it! Really good, giving me boho glam. Hey, y'all. Yeah. I want to introduce you guys to my PR, Melanie. Hey, I don't know if you guys know her or not, hey, but this party is so fun, though. Yeah, I'm having a long time. Great time, great time. Yeah, I want to make sure I, you know, I'm PR hood, so I want to know who everybody is. Right. Naturally. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It was good We're being nosy. Bye, y'all. Thank you. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday to me. What does this new year of life bring you? Like, what are you, what are you doing? What are your plans for it? I mean, this year it has to be all about television for me. I know it can be done, and it can be done here. But if you were to leave, then like there are different fish in those ponds. Oh, absolutely! The one who's not ready today to show me the guinea pig. What are you talking about? Oh, you're gonna send me the guinea pig. I believe in you. I'm good. good. I'm Essie. This is Marie's business partner. Okay, okay. The tree's on the chair. It's about to go down. Look, trees, of course. Let's have a chair. Melanie dragged me to the table with Letitia and Marie. I'm so over it. I don't want to talk about Marie. I don't want to see her. Let's just have our drinks, have fun, and get on with it. Tell me, what is this expression about? Because I heard them talking about what happened. So what 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 is it, y'all? No, you know, first and foremost, you know, today yeah, is the day is we should be celebrating Tamra Sheree. And I feel like today is not appropriate to discuss anything other than Tamra Sheree. Yeah, I want to say that. So yeah. let's not do that here. It's not appropriate. Right. We yeah. should celebrate the night. Right. Yeah, let's just celebrate. But we'll circle back. Yeah. We'll circle back. For me, I don't feel like it was the appropriate time to have the conversation. You know, take it into consideration when I tried to have a dialogue with Latrice, things went left, and so I didn't want that again. So circling back. Can we toast to that? Let's toast to that. Come on, look. Oh, I forgot you don't have your... Wait a minute, she got your it. She got it. She got it. Marie! Here, just toast. <laughs> <laughs> no room. No toast. I'm trying to, like, clear the air. I'm trying to get these girls in a place of smiles. I look over here, my girl Marie, her glass is still on the table. I was like, oh my God, are you serious? Look, I'm, I'm not gonna take them, y'all. Nice to meet you. 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 And we'll be seeing each Look. other soon. Y'all enjoy the party. I, I, I <laughs> Somebody get the check. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay, go ahead. I don't think so. You already know how I am. There was an olive green. There was an olive green. I know. But I, I don't play them type of girls. These girls did not move forward. Marie would not even acknowledge Latrice's presence. Latrice wanted to talk to Marie. All I know is it could be accepted as an olive branch. And Marie was like, no, no, I'm not, I'm not entertaining you. 
we down. already established it's not the it's not the time, time. and place but they sat down yeah and, other, and i had yeah. already made it known but they made it about them right mm -hmm. i'm not a fake i would have been fake if i would have toasted to latrice what are we toasting to all i'm saying is that the, at the end of the day i know what happened and I do understand as your friend, and I love you enough to respect your emotions, but what I'm saying right now is you bigger than that. You better than that. And that's like what keeps me, that's say, what keeps me, because, when, you know, I have to keep reminding myself. That you better than that. You I have too much on the line to lose. You, right. you can't play around. Like, you, can't, can't you can't play you around. Can't play around. You, can't play around. you can't play around. You're building a legacy. Right. Your children, children gonna eat from what you're doing. You're right. You can't have somebody over here to say this, that, you gotta be bigger and better. But I want you to see the potential that you have. You want to have a conversation? Guess what? Let me hear your conversation. You can't be sitting here looking like you the villain, that you just a macho and you started all this stuff and you don't want to have a conversation. Hear what she got to say. I know we're at Tamara's birthday party, but I am still trying to talk to Marie about having a conversation with Latrice because I need these girls to be on one accord so that they can come in with me on this Ferris Street project. I just want you to be the best version of yourself. And when, whenever they feel like, you know what I'm saying, that they got to go low or they got to attack your character or they got to do anything, you got to know who you are and whose you are. All right? So this Tamara Cherie's party, as you said. So let's turn up. Let's get some shots. Let's go, let's go drink some, girl. You know how to study. The teacher pulls me over to the side. I'm just like, all right, here we go. Because I know that I've talked major trash about this brunch, and I'm going to have to eat my words and take like a certain amount of accountability for it. I want to have a conversation with you from Because I'm catching extra. shade. Yeah. I am catching shade from you. Really? I uh, feel really, it a little bit. Really? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I don't want you to at all. And so I just feel like, you know, there's just something we need to talk about. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let me let me first say that um, that last brunch, I mean, it was it was wild. It, it was, was wild. It was, but also, like, it was totally off the mark. I agree. That is your brand. Mm -hmm. And so, like, your brunches don't have to be to my liking for them to be good brunches. Yeah. Also, like, it ain't got to be my thing. It ain't got to be, be my thing. I ain't for everybody, sis. Everybody not for me. And that's totally fine. But I respect you more when you come as a woman and say that. I need to also make sure that Antoinette and I, that we are on the same page to really support one another so we can stay moving forward. What you're doing with those brunches are important. There's room for improvement, mm -hmm. but I want to help yeah. if you let me. Yeah, and I totally get that. Yeah. So I wanted yeah. to pull you to the side yeah, to let you sure. know that I don't have any bad blood. And I talked about your brunch. That's OK. I'm so sorry about That's it. That's OK. I talked about your hair not being pulled out of the way. Oh! Oh, don't you dare! It's cool, shade for shade. So I work on my waffles, and you work on that wig. I don't feel like this was us. I want you to know, moving forward, you'll never hear me speak an ill word towards you or Thank anything you. that's going on, period. Like, Thank you. If you hear it, you know that it's not true, because I've said it to your face that that did not happen. It. It now was. we got to work on how we're going to get Marie oh, and Latrice together. Not, well, let's get a drink first. OK, let's get definitely. Drink. Let's get Thank you so much. Come on. I want to take this time right now to wish my co-worker, a lady that I've worked with for uh, over two years every day, a big happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys know I absolutely appreciate you guys. So I'm a personality by heart, so I see things, I hear things, and I know I want all of us to know and realize that we are all female bosses. Yeah. 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 doing great. We have to be thankful right. you know, that we got to have each other's back at all times. Right. So I appreciate you guys. So at the end, Tamra makes this amazing toast, and I was glad to experience that moment with those ladies. Because I really feel like these ladies will be able to come together for Ferris Street. You have to know at the end of the day, we represent Jackson, Mississippi's
everyone is raising their glasses and we're toasting to life and my birthday. We're celebrating me, but I'm celebrating everyone here. We are bosses. And that's why it's so important for us to stick together and empower each other. birthday party was lit. I enjoyed the food, the music. I enjoyed my girls. Tamara, she looked so beautiful. So, you know, it was amazing. I feel like the intent for all of the ladies is to, you know, be for the women empowerment. I've heard this women empowerment, women empowerment. I'm looking around and I see a lot of talk and I see no actions behind these words. Ultimately, you know, I don't feel like all of the ladies heart is in the right place when it comes to empowerment. But maybe that doesn't matter. We still can help each other and elevate. Next on Bell Collective. Come back. No, no, no. Come on over here and play with Cali. <laughs> My oldest son, Jarez, has three babies, all under the age of one. My main concern are these three babies. Jarez is grown. Good. You're not a good teacher. My husband knows that I do not know how to swim. No! I always say a birthday is a time to just, like, it's a whole nother year. So I did write down some goals. Where is the family? I said, get all of your belongings when you go. And he took his fist and punched a hole through the wall. I'm going to let you hear the recorder. Oh, my God. And that's when he hit it. I don't know if I could ever recover from that. How you doing, baby? I'm doing good. 